Hello friends, today I am going to discuss about type of and name of method in CISA.NET. So what the type of, so it returns type of objects. So and here this is, so and here I am using cursor class and here type of and here passing int. So and here this is the value type and here this two is the value type and here this is the class type and here I progress interface tab, array, class tab, and here this is integer, array, array, reference tab. So if I execute to this code, so here you can get add your details. So let's uh, scroll down. And here it's a returning system.int32. So and if I take the cursor on integer, so here I am getting the masses represent on 32 bit signed integer. So that here it is displaying type system. So system is the namespace and here dot int 32. And here for float. So if I take the cursor on float, so and here this is a struct system single. So and we have represent single processor so that it's a display the tab single. So system is the namespace and you dot single. Now and here this is SQL command. So here you get this details. So it's a class and here system data SQL SQL command. Here represent to store procedure execute against SQL tables. Here so this is a class tab here so that it's a or displaying the tab system data and here SQL client SQL command. So it's so and here comes inside SQL client here. Now if I take the cursor on IP, I progress. So this is interface here. This is the interface tab and here system define pro and about this one defines a provider for progress update. And here this is array, and here this is the class tab, and here it's a again it's a display int 32. If you take the cursor on integer, so that here represent 32 bit sign integer. So this is about add your type of so it return it is used to return type of objects in this are dotted program. So there is a one important thing. So and here this namespace it's all required. If I cut and here I'm getting the masses first console and here SQL command here I progress and here array. So it's the three are dependent upon this all namespace. We turn it to place this place here. This is the right place at the at the top. And here this namespace is and here this namespace is so this is required for and here SQL command. Okay, so like this you can use at here console class and here dot right line method and here let's give so and here typo here you can details. So and here type if let's press enter and here after so this time going to give add here double okay now here close by semicolon so if you take the cursor on type of here here you get the details represent type declaration class type here interface array value enumeration Type parameter generic and open and close the structure generic tab. So right here, this is about type of. Now if I execute this again, okay, so it will display the type of dollar. So here you get so right here, this is a type system dot dollar. So this is so important to uh, important interview sometimes so or they will ask you what is the type of integer so there or uh, there may be the option like int 32 and here int 64 so you should give the answer system 
dot int file two and here for float that is system dot finger the tab now here after there is another thing is name of so let's execute to this first so add here name of operator so it it obtain the name of the variable type or name word so by using add here name of operator so it is used to obtain the name of variable type or name word so let's uh, understand this example so add here it's uh, returning str450 and y so let's uh, scroll down now they have uh, created one method called name and here i passed 450 so here after directly control comes to this point and here so str that receive at this point 450 now console dot try so name of so what is the name add here so it's a display name of str so it's a display str console dot right name so it's a display str value 450 and here i have taken var variable type more so given the name mobile and here initialize with iphone console dot right so name of mobile so it's a display add here mobile So this is the things about add your name of so it obtained the name of variable so it will used to it is used to obtain what is the name of variable and your type of member so add your i passed of uh, integer of uh, add your at this point for 15 and here it's a name it's a display name of str str and here the value str it has 450. Here variable I have taken mobile and here the name is it's a display at this point name add here mobile by using name of operator. So this is uh, to a small point add here type of and name of in this of dot net. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.